Good morning. It is almost 7 a.m. Slept pretty good again in here. It's still super windy this morning. And it's cold. The wind is cold. Maybe I'll make some coffee just right here. Hunkered down in my little nook just to get a quick cup of joe in me <laughs> because coffee is so important right away. So yeah, I'm gonna get up. I'll show you guys the spot we stayed at and then we'll get out of here. It's not much, but it does the job, you know, for a night of sleep. Too shabby of a home for the night. It did the trick. I'm just gonna make a quick cup of coffee inside the car this morning. <laughs> Since it's so cold, I do not want to be out here. It's so windy, I do not want to be out here. But I want a cup of coffee for the road, so I'm gonna make a quick cup of coffee in the car. And then I'm out of here. <laughs> Whew. It's freezing out there. My oh my. So now I, get to, I just gotta sit here and make my coffee like this. Just hunched over in this little nook. I'm realizing that this is not gonna be that easy to make coffee in this little nook. I've never done it before. There's not much room. My, my head's hit, hitting the ceiling right here. And if I'm sitting here like this, then there's like, my feet are on the ground and there's just not much room to make the coffee right there. But we'll try to make it work. I just need a cup of joe in my belly right now because it's freezing. I need it immediately. So let's just try to make this real quick. I also got a mug from that general store up there at Mount Lemon. I'm also a sucker for mugs. I'm a sucker for stickers and I'm a sucker for coffee mugs and I'm a sucker for hats. Those three things I have way too much of, <laughs> but I love collecting those. Those are, those are just my favorite things, so. Oh wait, where's my, I didn't grab my cooking pot. No! I have to get back outside, dude. Please, no. Is it in here, this bag? Oh yes, here it is. Oh, thank the Lord heavenly days. I don't have to go back outside. Where I'm parked at, I'm kind of parked at an angle like this. And so the coffee, the cooking pot, just wants to slide down this way. So I'm gonna have to hold the pot the whole time while it's, built, while it's boiling. To sit here and hold it like this while it's boiling. This proves how much I love coffee. Look what I'm willing to do for it. Let this be a lesson to any of your guys' relationships. If it truly matters to you, you will do some stupid stuff for it. You will do some, you will go the extra mile for it. Just look at me and my relationship with coffee. Look what I'm doing to make a cup of coffee. At least this will warm me up a little bit too. It just makes me a little nervous that there's a f literally a flame at my feet right now. And my bed's right here. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna open this door just to be safe. Make sure there's plenty of airflow coming through here. Pop open the golden goodness of the coffee canister. Take a big old whiff. It's always, you always gotta do that. And I like my coffee strong, so usually I do three big old scoops of this. It's 
especially when I'm camping. Back home, like if I'm at home during a work day, I might just do two scoops. When I'm out here camping, give me three of these bad boys. Got the water boiling at our feet. And that's our view. Even though I'm hunkered down like the hunchback of Notre Dame making some coffee, I'm still having a good time. It's still a good day, a good day the Lord has made. We are blessed, we are humbled, we are grateful. Still having an awesome time, so. Let's finish making this cup of coffee. Okay, we got this coming to a boil. Turn this down. And now, you just pour it over the coffee and we got a cup of joe, baby! Oh yeah! Alrighty. This cup of coffee is almost ready to consume. I'm gonna get everything put away. I'm gonna get in the cockpit and I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna have this cup of coffee on the road and I'm just gonna get out of here, go find some views, hopefully some warmer spots. Let's go. I just realized I still have the light on my head. I don't need this anymore. Yay! Ready to roll. Fresh cup of joe as you guys saw me make. I'm ready for the road. I'm just gonna head back toward Mount Lemon, I think. Um, there's a couple viewpoints that I saw yesterday that I thought were really cool and I didn't have a chance to stop at them. So we're gonna go knock those out. So I'll see you guys over there. We are at the Windy Point Vista. It is currently 38 degrees. And the wind is howling. I'm just gonna check out this spot, Windy, Vist Windy Point Vista. And then we will be heading back down toward Picacho. Picacho. Picacho? Picacho? I still need to ask those state park people how to say that. Uh Come on here, bag. walk all the way out to one of these spots. Should be some good views out here. Well, I think it's safe to say I know why they call it Windy Point Vista. Because it's windy as flip. They're like tunnels. This is the picture spot. It's beautiful. Uh, camera up there. And taking pictures down over this. Heck yeah. Awesome. Doesn't get much better than that, folks. Okay, I think I got some pretty cool shots. I'm gonna start making my way back to the car. It's cool out here, though. We gotta come down through this thing. Okay, I think that'll do it for the Mount Lemon Adventures this time around. I'll most likely be back because this place is amazing. 
Highly recommend Mount Lemmon if you've never been. There's a lot to explore here. But now, I'm gonna make my way back down this mountain and start heading north. I think I'm gonna go to Picachao, Picacho. We're gonna figure out how to say that. Let's go. I completely forgot that the Saguaro National Park is right here as well. And we're gonna pop in there real quick. Check that out. Yeah, I would say uh, there's a lot of saguaros here. <laughs> Okay, we just got to the visitor center. So let's go in there and look for a sticker and get some information and then we'll go explore. Oh yeah, yet another sticker for the collection. <laughs> out here in Saguaro National Park having some lunch enjoying the sceneries hearing the nature you can probably hear the birds and stuff the sounds of nature this is what I love about traveling and exploring right here just getting out to beautiful places just relaxing and taking it all in I love it we are now leaving the Saguaro National Park and we're gonna be heading north Back to what our original plan was, Picacho, Picacho, Picachi, Chupapi, it, or I will finally get to figure out how to say it, because I'm going to ask the state park ranger, yo man, how the flip do you say the state park's name? But that is where we are headed now. We are back. What the? Look at this massive line. There's a huge line getting in here. Oh God. Well. At least we have beautiful views while we wait in line. I think I've been in line for about 30 or 40 minutes. It's because of the wildflowers. There's a lot of people here for the wildflowers, so. Oh, thank I am, you all. Welcome I am in. back. Um, I wanted to ask you, how do you pronounce this state Bacacho. park? Bacacho. Bacacho, okay. I've Google, been saying that Google very, will tell very you wrong. Pikachu and really? Google's gonna lie to you. Yeah, I've been Google saying it that. pretty aggressively <laughs> wrong. <laughs> okay, you heard the lady, it's Bacacho. I feel like I've been saying that, right? Look at these colors right now. Look at these flowers. <laughs> so cool. I'm gonna get some pictures of those, so be right back. These flowers are so beautiful, I'm like overwhelmed. I'm trying to figure out a good shot for these things. It's so fun though. I love it. It's so beautiful out here. I'm gonna keep frolicking in these wildflowers and then Eventually we'll get out of here, go to the visitor center, get a sticker, and that will conclude this adventure, I think. So I'll check back in with you guys after I'm done frolicking. Got another sweet picture for the collection. I'm done frolicking in the flowers at Picacho Peak. That will conclude this weekend. That will conclude today's adventure. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along. If you enjoyed the adventures, if you want to see more, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And until next time, don't stop exploring, and we'll see you guys in the next one.